Do you want to do a test first? Hello, everyone. This is Lord of Mass Panic and his best friend in the entire universe. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds so excited to be my best friend. Um, Ethereal too cool. Actually. Ethereal too cool. Oh, yeah. You're lame. Gamer tag. Yeah, because Lord of Mass Panic isn't gay at all. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's, it doesn't have a number in it. Hey, it's not like it's not like elite hacks or eight seven six two okay, that's elite gay. face. That's gay. The two is simply <laughs> in mind to shorten because people be like, yeah, I don't get it. Why don't you just put T O O? Because people are dumb and go ethereal. T- ooh, cool. What's that? Why do you even use a big word like ethereal? Because none of the words I in am. my name go over two syllables. The one most in, in bleh, the most yes, complicated panic. one is panic. Panic. What, what's panic? Panic. You, well, that's. I'm American, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Americanos. Okay. <laughs> so let's 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 start from the beginning. Uh we decided to chill today and we decided to play video games. He we played a little bit of Guitar Hero, which was lame. More, more me than anything. Well yeah, I played I went on my laptop and played TF two. But um uh, then we decided to play some Devil May Cry and put up some commentary about it. We were like, ah, let's do a commentary, but Devil May Cry sounds actually better than Call of Duty or Halo. Or uh, do, do you even play Halo? Uh, you know what? If if it was the only game to play, <laughs> I'd play Halo. But it's not a favorite. It's really not. Uh, okay. And plus, Devil May Cry is a sick game. Mm. Um, so let's start out with some basic information. Uh, where? What do you do for a living, Jared? <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> I'm I'm in management. Your management where? Of people. Where? What, what, what people? Where? At, which, at an establishment. What was this establishment called? Does it perhaps sell greasy things? Well, yes. And it's not 118th Avenue, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no it does not sell that kind of grease. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, McDonald's. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. But I'm in nanotech for school, so... That's really awesome. <laughs> so suck it. <laughs> today, I remember we, we were at Wendy's eating our food, and we, uh, we talked for a good hour about nanotechnology and what it, it has for the world. Yeah. Everything, actually. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, there's really nothing nanotechnology can't do. Yeah. Except That's... it probably could even make you a sandwich. Women will be yeah, obsolete. Yeah, make a, a female nanobot to it's make so me a sandwich. Sweet. Exactly, right. <laughs> Just look at it, make me a sandwich, bot! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go do it. It won't, it won't question. No, it won't. Unless they gain a personality it'll, and, it'll and, never and then leave take you. over the world. It'll never leave you and break do. your heart. And take your house. <laughs> Damn nano fembots. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just a heads up. I hadn't played Devil May Cry for many months before this, this recording. So for the first little bit here, it's going to be embarrassingly terrible gameplay. It picks up. It picks up. It gets a lot. It gets a lot better because I, f- I find <laughs> I walk into a fucking laser. <laughs> yeah, except that one helped you. The second one. <laughs> like, don't get him wrong. Jared's actually very, very skilled at this game. Eight times more skilled than I am. That's why he's playing, and I'm not. But it's my Xbox and my gamer tag, so he got me a few achievements. <laughs> yeah, and they're like the easiest ones. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> you'll, you'll see them s- pop up, and you're like, "Wow, he didn't get them yet." <laughs> oh, it's because I played this game. For, oh, like, see, that was that was a very beneficial laser. It's extremely beneficial. Wow, this game this game is just full of like. You gave me a nice warm ass win raping. Loses. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a nice warm ass rape through the through the right direction. Uh this video is 44 minutes. Just telling <laughs> everyone, like not this video, but the whole recording. We recorded 44 minutes of video. 22 minutes of it is cutscenes and wandering. And legitimately, 22 minutes is cutscenes and wandering. <laughs> like, we're not even kidding. And uh, we decided, hey, let's do a whole thing, and then we're going to put it in parts. So part one should only last about 10 minutes. About. We won't really separate it either. We won't be like, oh, part one's over. Because that's, <laughs> just, that's just tedious. We're going to continue to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Uh, minute four. Minute four. <laughs> Always the cursed minute four, and you run out of shit to talk about. It's so... so so Matt, oh don't, no, Lord of Mass no, Panic. I, I I know what this is about. Don't what's, do this. What's your life life story? <laughs> oh my life. Okay, that's easier. Uh, from childhood or from like from the very beginning. Womb-hood? From what? From like from dark, womb-hood? moist, dark, moist, warm, just, and then the painful escape. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> I, think, I think it was pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> just slide on out. Exactly right. Okay, maybe oh, not that far oh, okay, back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, what do you do for a living, madam? What do I do for a living? Uh, well, I've had multiple jobs, actually. Uh, was, was McDonald's your first job? Yeah. Your first and only job. Yeah. I've had a, quite a few. I've wor- I did flyers for a little bit. 
and then I, <laughs> then I worked at McDonald's uh, for a little bit, and then uh, I quit for about a month and worked at Dairy Queen. Oh. Yep. And no, you're just being in pain at your at your gameplay. <laughs> I got another laser in the ass. <laughs> um, then after Dairy Queen, I realized that it sucked because everyone was brown and speaking in gibberish, so I couldn't really understand them. Um, and then I went back to McDonald's, and then I worked at Kites and Other Delights. Then Why did you work at Kites? For about two months there, I was working two jobs. When? That's freaking sweet. That's an awesome job. I don't know, grade 10, November and December? No, not November. I didn't make it to December. It was like October and well, November and a little bit of December. Maybe it was an awesome job. Why'd you leave? I didn't leave. I got fired. Oh, stole too many of the little uh, little trains? Little oh, that's, trains? That's, yes, actually. <laughs> those those trains are tempting. Uh, but it, it was actually just because we had an agreement beforehand and I he couldn't uphold it. So it was... It was oh. It was, it was hours because I only worked there oh. for like five hours a week. Um, and he <laughs> Sounds <needed> like me. <laughs> what? what closes at 5.30 and hires a teenager. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. So I can only work Sundays because I had to work at least one weekend shift at McDonald's because they have stupid, yeah, they retarded have... requirements. Well, right now I'm only working Saturday, Sunday, and it's pissing them off because I'm in management and I'm only working two days a week. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't get home till like 5, 6 o'clock Well, at least you're school. not like that fat general manager <sighs> who only comes in on days that she gets to yell oh, at people. God. I remember one shift she came in and sat in the office right beside where I was working until she found something that I did wrong, ripped me up for it, and then left. <laughs> she was just looking, and you're beating on something. So what you're saying is... Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, yeah. in, in, the, in the game, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Quick change of subject there. I thought you meant she walked in, saw you, and said, you're beating on something. No, and she, she, me she walked in, <laughs> saw me, and was like, you're not allowed to touch that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I know it sounds weird, but well, what were you touching? Okay, we were in a big, huge rush, and everyone was coming in, piling in, piling, 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 and we're like, "Oh crap!" And then someone dropped tongs. Some idiot dropped tongs. So I'm thinking, okay, everybody in the kitchen washes their hands. Yes, yeah, so you just so it with just your pick, hand? I picked up an egg and put it on the sandwich. Oh. And she comes over and looks over my shoulder in her fat, chubby, disgusting Ugh. face, and is all <laughs> like. <laughs> come to the office so i came to the office and she wrote me up and man it was really really dumb <laughs> i can only imagine your file matthew picked up an egg with his hand apparently on one of my because we we have floats that we're responsible for yeah. and tills and stuff like that apparently i on my file because you don't get to look at yeah. your file regularly i, I had a, I had a, I was short 50 dollars i was yeah and no one talked to me about yeah, it when i first started it was like the first month i looked at my file when i hit management it was like the first thing i did look straight at my file see what the bastards are writing me up for the number one, the, like the first entry was I was short $68 on a till. Holy crap. And I swear on my life to this day, I never touched any money out of that till other than like proper transactions. No I don't one, understand no how one, anybody like who's not stealing could be short $68. Yeah, and that's the thing. And the fact that they didn't talk to you about it just means that it was an error in their <laughs> no system. No one approached me whatsoever. I was like, hey, seriously, what? <laughs> if I'm short 68 bucks, you'd think you'd give me like a verbal warning. It's like you're short two bucks and they bring you in. Yeah, exactly. So back to the game. This, I tried to get it, and... Uh, it paused. I just realized that. We, we kind of failed there. I mean, you also failed. Fuck off. But, but the recording actually, like, <laughs> lagged forward, so, that, okay, that's a little bit of the game. It, we actually had played this game for about an hour. I bet 15 is probably just lagged out crap. Yeah. Like, seriously, this game is so harsh. There, it's just, like, failed right across the whole screen. Yeah, the game, doesn't, <laughs> the game doesn't give you any leniency. No, and then when you, when you die, it's like, abandon all hope. It's like, really? <laughs> Fuck off. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, and so we're, we were continuing to talk about my job. I work at Cineplex now. I work at the movie theater. Oh, uh, yeah. So I, I rip tickets, and I sell popcorn, and I <laughs> apparently meet hot women all the time. Well, apparently it's impossible for someone to rip their own fucking ticket. That's true. So they need people like you to rip the t stupid ticket. <laughs> well, that, they, it's a security issue. We don't yeah, want people to yeah. randomly coming in. Oh, I Does it really work? Does it really work? It really does. Yeah? How many movies have you sneaked into back-to-back? -back? I only sneak into movies I'm not allowed to see. Which means I, I will buy a ticket for a movie that's on the other that's on the same side of the theater, and I will go to... No, best uh, thing in the world is you go for, like, a, a mid-afternoon movie, go for, like, two and a half hours, and, but time it for the two movies you want to see, and then just go into the next one. I did, that, I did that for four movies. Yeah. You, you <laughs> I, 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 they were just back so back well back. scheduled that yeah, exactly. I, saw, I spent the entire day at the movie theater. Exactly. And, I mean, that's the best thing to do. You do it often, you get two for one, you save money. and Exactly, right? And then you can go talk about how awesome your movie experience was. You know what a really good movie is? <laughs> what? Horrible Bosses. Oh, you mean the one that you take every girl to see, regardless of how many times you've seen it? 
Yes. <laughs> the secret's out. The secret is out. I've seen I've seen it like three times now. It's such a good movie, and I get these girls in for free, I mean, so e- I get yeah. to pick the movie. And either way, it's not like they're going to be mad at you for seeing a movie you've already seen. Like, they have exactly, they haven't seen it. Yeah. So it's like, it's a good it's movie. Just, it's just funny, because that was like your number one uh, confession when we're driving home. Yeah, I've taken every girl that I've dated to see horrible bosses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, congrats. <laughs> see, here I was used to a double jump, and... Uh, Kind of an embarrassing jump there. It happens more than once. Because you don't once. have a double jump. It I happens. Didn't have it. Like, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I think it would be easier in real life if I was just Nero. Oh my well, god. if you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I when I was editing it before and oh wow and it let out. We were when I was editing it before. I was trying to skip over this part because I, I saw it's you. Not that bad. I was fast forwarding through it because I saw you fall a bunch of times and, and see, <sighs> look you fell on even I mean, like that. Well, I mean the camera angles don't help either. Oh, that's true. It's like one of those weird games with random camera angles like if you ever played jet set radio future no i never played it okay it's a game where you're on rollerblades and you run around um doing graffiti i've heard of it I just it's a didn't sick play sick it. awesome game the camera yeah. angles like when you exit out of areas are really really dumb and stupid and yeah. you can't really do much yeah don't make cry camera angles have always been really well, that's bad. with any free roaming game like where you're just free in a little area yeah. It's, yeah. it's gonna have bad camera angles it's not like call of duty where you have the same stationary camera angle all the time 